Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're examining another game. Today we are looking at the game Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Blue Line. This game is a fan-made version of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach which was released on December 16, 2021 by Steel Wool Studios and Scott Calthon. Security Breach Blue Line came out on October 1, 2022 from Blue Line Entertainment. They write themselves that they are fans of this game and have packed the game with more ideas. This game is available in two different versions. Once the normal edition, which includes the game and a multiplayer mode. And once a premium version, which includes the game multiplayer, a new DLC coming soon and a production video. But is the game worth it? And has Blue Line Entertainment really improved it? That's what we're looking at today. Blue Line says in some tweets that they don't want to replace the game. They always want to release another version with more ideas and stories. Starting with a longer intro sequence that takes 1 to 12 minutes instead of 1 minute and many other animations that appear in Redome in the game. For example, the ambient wallpaper. Upon entering a new large area, a short cutscene will appear showing the surrounding area. You can skip this cutscene or disable it entirely in the settings. The gameplay has also been greatly expanded. There are many new minigames like Roxy Raceway, Bonnie Bowl, or Monty Golf. The Monty Golf minigame also originally existed, but was optional in the original game. Now it's a kind of three-boss fight against Monty. Followed by game time the original game is about 10 hours. The other version should be playable for up to 19 hours. More levels and quests lengthen the part also. More endings have been added. What I personally like very much is that the missions no longer feel so casual, but that you have a pleasant pressure from a wide variety of things. The stealth has also been improved. Since the game lasts several hours, you can teleport with Freddy to the main locations. In addition, the longer you play the game, the more you get fed up with the enemies who are always everywhere. The size of the Pizzaplex was used this time in such a way that the animations are not always in the same place. However, this can be quite frightening when they suddenly stop by spontaneously. Now let's get to the map. This is also a big point of criticism. 80% of the map is the same. There are changes here and there but the majority is like in the original game. The 20% of the map are the newly created places like a second kitchen, a VIP area, a second arcade, and other map versions that were already designed in the original game but were not included in the game. The matter in question is still what about copyrights? Blue Line Entertainment is very specific about this. We know the game already exists, but we wanted to make a new version. We have not issued any copyrights such as map, music, animations for our All Founders W. Things added by us were labeled with our name. However we do not claim any game content as ours. For this reason we will not make the game public forever stay. Even if we very much regret this. The game has a lot more good and bad things too. If you want to know them all just check it out for yourself. But now the game is worth it. I've played the game myself and I think it's a cool idea with an expanded version. There are many new missions. Many bugs have been fixed the performance has improved a bit the game has many new characters, voice lines, animations and so on. So I think the game is worth it, but there are still things that could be improved. However, the errors in the minigames occur very rarely. It appears more frequently because the computer does not support the minimum requirements. Another point of criticism is the online time. Since the game is only a fan-made version, the game will not stay online permanently. Blue Line Entertainment has come out with apologies that they are not allowed to keep the game online. Because the original version already exists and that would have consequences for you. That means we can assume that the game will remain online until the beginning of 2024 at the late. But that was my take on the game. It's a nice pastime if you liked Security Breach. Blue Line Entertainment has met the requirements but I would find it better if they brought their own version or their own game with content that you didn't know online. Let's see what comes in the future. So, 
That was my video for 5 Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Blue Line. I'm also in the process of creating a Let's -a Play. But this will take a while because I don't have that much time to edit right now. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you don't want to miss anything.